today on How It's Made. Pretzels. A twisted tale. How and when the first pretzel came to be depends on who you ask. One story tells of a monk baking rewards for children who were pious. Today's bakeries still fold the dough to resemble arms crossed in prayer, but they do it much faster, granting tasty wishes to a lot more snackers. Although hard pretzels are more common, this company makes the more traditional soft-baked ones. To make enough dough for 5,000 pretzels, a worker first blends shortening, sugar and salt in a huge mixer. The machine automatically adds yeast, corn syrup, 6,200 litres of cold water and 345 kilos of flour. The cold water helps make the dough elastic, so workers can shape it before it hardens. A worker then opens the mixer and slows the blades to help the dough fall out. He splits the batch on a table, then creates chunks that go into a tank called a hopper. It feeds an auger that channels the dough chunks through guillotines. The blades chop the chunks into 70 gram balls to make small pretzels or 140 gram balls for large pretzels. Two conveyor belts squeeze them into 40 centimetre long segments called noodles. Another machine now grabs the ends of each noodle and twists the ends over each other to create the pretzel's three signature holes. To keep this knot from unravelling, the plate then gently flips the pretzel dough onto another plate below. That plate carefully flips the doughy creations onto a 36 metre long conveyor belt. The raw pretzels now travel on the conveyor for 14 minutes, the time it takes for the dough to rise. Next, they move through showers of liquid sodium hydroxide, heated to 82 degrees Celsius. That seals in the moisture, so the pretzel will be chewy when you eat it. They go into a large oven. As they enter, flames sear and harden the outside. This prevents the bottoms from sticking to the mesh conveyor belt during baking. After about three and a half minutes at 293 degrees Celsius, the pretzels are piping hot and golden brown. They drop onto a long conveyor, where they gradually cool on their way to the next step a trip through a freezer that's longer than seven Olympic-sized swimming pools. After 30 minutes at minus 28 degrees Celsius, the pretzels are rock solid and ready for packaging. But first, a camera scans them so that a computer can track each pretzel and guide a robotic arm to pick it up. This arm is one of five operating at separate points on the line. The robots process one pretzel per second and clean up after each other until the belt is picked clean. The pretzels then fall through a sliding gate, landing on a conveyor that whisks them off to the next step. There, a machine drops a packet of coarse salt into each bin of six pretzels. A mechanical arm nudges the pretzels over to make room for it. The salt packet lets you season your pretzel the traditional way before warming it up at home. The machine opens plastic bags with compressed air. Mechanical arms push the pretzels and salt packet inside. A robot arm then places each bag in a cardboard box. So, 
Next time you're looking for a salty snack, don't tie yourself up in knots, just have a pretzel instead. <laughs>